I'm Allison. I'm Leslie's big sister. Um, I've had the privilege of being asked to be the matron of honor. This is my third time, but twice in the last few years before Leslie. And both times I was in my third trimester of pregnancy <laughs> and barely able to fit in my dress. Fortunately, this time I'm not pregnant, but instead I have a brand new seven week old baby girl over here. Unfortunately, I'm still barely able to fit in my dress. <laughs> Um, and I'm hormonal, so bear with me as I tell you about how proud I am of my baby sister and how happy I am that she's found Taylor. First, though, I'd like to point out something that I've learned about Taylor. Taylor likes to take his time when making a decision. <laughs> Leslie and Taylor had a long-distance relationship um, while Taylor waited for the, just the right opportunity to come back to Minneapolis. I think we ask Leslie every single week, when's Taylor moving home? When's Liv Taylor moving home? Um, they toured over 60 homes before they found their beautiful home down in Excelsior. Um, unfortunately, one thing that Taylor didn't give enough careful thought to was becoming a Dallas Cowboys fan. <laughs> I'm like, I have to rewrite my speech. Um, ironically, Leslie and Taylor chose today um, to have their wedding on the Cowboys Packers game, which Leslie comes from the Borland family. They were born and raised in Green Bay and are Packers fans, um, which is a bold move for you, Taylor, as you marry into our family. We'll see if we can convert you into a Green Bay Packers um, fan, but I'll give you a speech on compromise some other day. <laughs> Um, another thing that Taylor took some time in deciding was finding his perfect partner. Taylor, I may be biased. But marrying Leslie today is the best decision you'll ever make. She's ambitious, she's loyal, and she's a woman of God. That may give you a taste of her ambition. For any of you who have undergone the process of planning a wedding, um, get this. <laughs> Leslie planned this beautiful day, this beautiful reception, this ceremony, everything to honestly tying the silverware that are sitting at all of your, your dinner plates um, in less than six months. She's ambitious. She puts all of you at the forefront of this day. Um, She's passionate. She's found a way to make semi-truck routes and logistical planning interesting. I still think that all it took for Taylor to fall for Leslie was a five-minute conversation about her latest trucker convention. I don't know what's tied. <laughs> My sister is also incredibly loyal. I think any of the ladies that stood up with her today can attest to the fact that Leslie is the friend will be there for you when others may not. And finally, Leslie is a woman of God. I'm inspired by how Leslie's faith is not limited to Sundays, even though you did choose your wedding to be on a Sunday. But she seeks God's guidance for the big and small, and I've seen Leslie and Taylor put, their God, put God in the center of their relationship. Leslie is all of these things, and Taylor, you are too. Except for the woman of God part. <laughs> you are a man despite being a Cowboys fan. <laughs> the Packers are winning. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Leslie and choosing to become a part of our family. I know I just spent the last few minutes telling you why you're lucky to have Leslie, but know that me and my family are so very fortunate to have you. I'd like to invite Leslie and Taylor's family and friends to make a toast and raise your glasses and wish the newlyweds newly the very best. Cheers. Cheers.